G'day, g'day. It's that time of year where we all make those massive New Year's resolutions which last a mere few days. So this is a strategy that we really like because it actually works. It's more about identifying priorities and then scheduling them. So let's crack into it. How to dominate the new year. A no fluff plan to create more impact, profit and freedom. And you can download these slides so that you can write notes below the video and I recommend printing them out so that you get as much value as possible. The strategy that we use is based off Stephen Covey who's a super famous old school author and he talks about something called the Big Rocks strategy. This strategy is really all about prioritization but rather than me explain it let's just watch this quick video if you haven't heard of it, you'll soon have a thorough understanding. It's really simple, but it's very effective. Here we go. We're gonna say that this jar represents your life or your calendar or your schedule. And the way most people go about their life is they fill it up first with stuff that's not very important. And that's gonna be represented by this water. So this is like surfing the internet, checking out Reddit, checking out Buzzfeed, don't do that anymore, quit checking Buzzfeed. Stuff that adds really no value to your life. And then what they do is they do stuff that's a little bit more important, that has some value, but really not much. And that's, gonna, that's represented by this sand. And this is like when you're, you're doing uh, research on the internet, but then you somehow end up back at those time-wasting sites. So that's the sand, and then we start doing stuff that's, you know, a little bit more important, but not all that important. And that's represented by this gravel. So, you know, this could be probably a lot of busy work that a lot of people do. All right. So it's, you know, stuff that has some value, but not all that much. And then you realize, man, I haven't done anything. I've been really busy, but I haven't got any work done. I gotta do, focus on those really important things. So you try to cram those big rocks in. Those big rocks represent the most important things in your life. It could be things like family, it could be your health. So you try to cram that in, into your calendar or your schedule. You quickly realize there's no room in your calendar because you filled it up with all this other stuff that's not really important and you don't have room for the important stuff. But here's the catch. With just a bit of rearrangement and some prioritization, you would have been able to fit all of the most important tasks, your big rocks, and all of this into your calendar and schedule. Don't believe me? I'll show you. All right, so we got a new schedule. This time, instead of filling up our schedule, metaphorical schedule, with the dumb stuff first, we're gonna put the most important things and put those in first. So we're gonna put the big rocks in. Then after that, you can start putting in some of those Filling in the gaps with the stuff that's not really important, but just a little bit important. Things like work emails, there we go. But you still have room, you still have time for some of that fun stuff that's just mindless. So go ahead, after you've done your big rocks, done the stuff that's sort of important. All right, so as you can see, we are able to fit in a lot more, including the big rocks. And the key was we had to put the big rocks in first. So essentially what that video is saying is it's simply telling us that we need to prioritize the things that are most important to us, put those in the jar before anything else. So in this little video and with the accompanying worksheet, we're going to go through what your big rocks are for next year, what your little rocks are, and what the sand is. So the three golden rules of this strategy are you can do anything you want, you just can't do everything you want. In my view and experience, if you prioritize effectively, you can absolutely crush it in this new year. However, if you're trying to do way too many things and accomplish everything, then you're just gonna get nowhere. So you can do anything you want, you just can't do everything you want. Second rule is your cash flow follows your calendar. And by this I mean you can't expect to achieve those big lofty financial goals if you haven't got the, the revenue generating activities scheduled in your calendar. The third golden rule is we have to be active over reactive. All three of these rules are about prioritization, working out what's important to you first, scheduling it in and sticking to that, 
and avoiding any distractions along the way. If you can stick to these three rules, I reckon you can have the best year ever. So the first step in the strategy is identifying the big rocks. So remember these are the top priorities and projects of this year. And we're going to split these into two categories. The first category is money and impact. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the end of this year or the last year, depending on when you're obviously doing this exercise. And we're going to look at where you want to be one year on. So we're going to look at the monthly revenue last year and what we want next year, the number of clients last year and the number of clients next year and the number of free days that we had last year and that we want next year. Because remember, we're trying to find freedom too. It's not just about working the whole time. It's about getting that balance because if we can identify those big rocks early in the year, then we can have a lot more free time than we can ever imagine. So this could be an example. Let's say you're at 30K a month this year. By the end of next year, you want to be at 60K a month. And maybe you've got 18 clients this year, but next year you want to have 36. And the number of free days, in this example, I've got the number of free days the same. But perhaps you want to have more, perhaps you want to have less. It's, more, it's all about finding that balance that works for you. So that's the first category, money and impact. So fill in your worksheet for that. Now, in order to hit those goals, we need to identify what are the money-making and impact activities that are going to produce those results. And how often do we need to do those activities in order to get there? So I'm sure in your business, using the 80-20 rule, I bet you have some activities and systems or products or services that make way more money and impact than the others. So here's some real life examples for us. So these are the revenue generating activities. We identified that every 60 days we need to do a cash flow email campaign, but we only want to do that every 60 days. And we have online workshops that bring in new leads and convert them to customers. We want to do that two times a month. And we know that doing cold outreach in terms of generating and nurturing leads. And last year we were doing that once a week. If we do it twice a week, then we're going to see much better results. And we want to create new lead magnets every 60 days. And value videos, which is simple videos that we're going to post on YouTube and use as Instagram and Facebook ads, we're going to create two a week. So, for yourself, what are the money and impact activities? What's the frequency that you're going to carry out those activities in? So that's the first category, money and impact, of identifying your big rocks. The second category, it's freedom and fun. So we want to know what kind of fun and adventures are we going to have on a weekly, monthly, quarterly and yearly basis. For, for myself, every week I want to go for an evening bike ride. On Wednesdays I normally do that. Up at Codgers, which is a bike track around Nelson where I live. Who am I going to do it with? The boys. And every month I'm going to have date night at a restaurant with the missus, my partner. And every quarter I want to do a boys trip down to our family batch in the Marlborough Sounds. And I'll be doing that with my friends. And next year we would like to do a family working holiday in somewhere like Bali where there's good internet and food. Maybe for two months or so with my family. So for yourself, what are the big rocks in terms of the freedom and fun that you want to have with you and your family? So plot them in. Okay, so step number two. We've done the big rocks. Now we're going to identify the pebbles and the little rocks. Remember these are the activities that are important, but they're not the top priority. And what, so what we want to do here is we want to look at the business deliverables. So once we've got new clients on board, how are we going to serve them? So we've got the what, where, who. And we've got the weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. Just the same as the last slide, but this time it's not for freedom and fun. It's for the deliverables, your service, your offer, your product. So here's ours. This is what we want to have. We want to have group calls every week with our clients over Zoom. One-to-one -one check ins with our clients once a month. We want to do quarterly workshops with our clients. And every year we want to update our program so that it's, it's relevant and it still gets people results. So those are our pebbles and our little rocks. So chuck yours in there too. Step number three. Now it's time to identify the sand, which are the lower priorities. And we're gonna look at these at a professional and a personal level. So we divide this into learning development, planning days, and team training. What do you want to achieve in terms of these categories in this new year? For us, 
We want to get a new high level mentor or join a very high level mastermind. We know it's going to help us grow much faster than doing it ourselves. And we want to have two days a month creating and planning our content. And with our team, we want to get better with our accounts. So we want to do some team training around accounting, tracking numbers in zero, cash flow forecasting and all of that stuff. So that's the professional side, but what about the personal side? Well, family events, friends, hobbies, and other. What else are you going to fit into your jar? For me, my family events are simple birthdays, my niece, my nephews, my siblings, and my mum and dad. I really should put my partner in there, but that kind of slipped through the gap. <laughs> now, friends, I've left blank because I couldn't think of anything. But hobbies, I want to learn the saxophone. I've started learning. It's really fun. And other, I want to get a new gym membership. So those are my personal uh, priorities in terms of filling up that jar. Alrighty, so now we should have the jar full. This next part of this video, we're going to look at eliminating extra BS and a couple of little tricks to help get us to our goals even quicker. So step four, we want to eliminate any excess BS because we all know that we only have so much capacity. There's only so many things we can think about at once. So what we're going to do is we want to start the next year with a clean slate. So these are the steps that I'm personally taking. I'm opening my email and I'm unsubscribing from everything that doesn't help me achieve my goals or my big rocks. Be ruthless too. I'm being very, very ruthless. Then, I've already done this, I went through my Facebook and Instagram profile and I unfollowed negative people or people that made me question myself in terms of thinking, oh, I'm not good enough, or they're doing so much better than me. If they're not inspiring me, if they're making me feel like shit, then I'm unfollowing them. It's nothing personal to them. It's just there's not enough space in my jar. <laughs> Number three, delete all excess files from the previous year that are necessary. Clear your desktop, go through all your files, delete, delete, delete. We're starting fresh. We've got a new strategy. What happened in the past stays in the past. Let's make this year a banger, but we need everything to be clear. Our minds, our desktops. Number four, uninstall any programs that you don't use or that aren't healthy, like games or just extra crap that you probably will never use, even though you think you might, but you know deep down you never will. Get rid of it. And finally, go through your desk and your physical possessions. Get rid of like old shitty clothes that you're never going to wear work-related pads, notes, any excess crap, just throw it all away. Because we want to have as much energy as possible. This is a diagram from the book Essentialism. You can see that if you're putting your energy in all these different directions, you're just not going to get anywhere. So we need to prioritize, find the direction that we're heading in, and give all of our energy to those priorities, those big rocks. Step number five, we're going to use something called Stop, Start, Continue. So what are we doing at the moment in our personal lives or in our businesses that we want to stop doing? What are the activities that we're doing right and we want to continue doing? And thirdly, what are we not doing that we might need to start doing? So for us, what are we doing that we might need to stop? At the moment, we need to have stronger boundaries with our clients. We've also found we're not qualifying people enough. Often we'll speak to people on the phone and we're actually not a good fit. So we're wasting our time and their time. That's why we need to stop. So what are we doing right? Well, we're initiating lots of conversations and finding out people's problems and working out how we can help them. And we're creating valuable content because we get really good feedback on our ads and our videos. So we need to continue doing that. And thirdly, what are we not doing that we might need to start doing? Well, we need to start using zero better to track our numbers. And we need to have clearer roles and responsibilities in our business so that we're all happy, uh, it's growing well, and we all know what we should be doing at any given time. So what are your stop, continues, and starts? Write them in the worksheet. And the last step, schedule and stick to the bloody plan. Prioritize your big rocks, then your pebbles, then the sand. Keep your focus narrow and avoid shiny object syndrome. We've identified what's important, now we just need to stick to it, put blinders on and just go deep. And we need to schedule everything, stick ruthlessly to your calendar, don't let outside influences come in and change things unless they fit into those big rocks. 
And number four is a sneaky little trick that I really like, and that's working in 90 day chunks. Because it's really easy to make goals that are, you know, a year out, but the problem is a year is so far away. So if you work in 90 day chunks and you really break down your goals into where you want to, where you need to hit, it makes things a lot more realistic and it makes, personally I've found it makes you a lot more motivated. And the last little slide, just find what works for you. So I use Google Tasks Board. I've tried fancy scheduling, fancy calendars. I just think simple is better. So I have daily, weekly, monthly, my personal list, and then I just put little deadlines on the tasks and then they show up on Google Calendar. So I know what I'm doing every day. I can tick them off as I go. It's simple, it doesn't take much time, and that's what works for me. So just find what works for you, and get out there and smash it. Let me know if you think this has been helpful, and I hope you have a fantastic year ahead. See ya.